let's do something different. I know that you know it can do ice cream, gelato, and sorbet. We showed that pretty clearly. It can do a lot of savory applications. One of my favorite is pesto. First of all, I just love pesto. Secondly, you are gonna just not believe the product you can get out of it. Now listen. We have a savory blade set that you can do pesto with if you like, but it's never as amazing as if you pocketize the pesto. I'll show you what I mean. Here are all the ingredients of pesto filled just below the fill line. So, some beautiful parm, some toasted pine nuts, a little bit of roasted garlic, blanched basil leaves to keep that beautiful green, and olive oil, frozen solid. Like I said, about negative four. So, our pesto beaker in the holder, bring it to the machine. Six o'clock position, ready light is on. Let's spin a couple of portions. Now, you see the indicator immediately going down? I had a few portions taken away. It might take a second or two to eliminate. When it feels the torque of the frozen product, it eliminates. You can hear it immediately kind of a sound, products being processed, yeah? Now listen, if you're talking about doing a pasta dishes all night long for service, you're talking about uh, pesto for pesto, you're talking about something for pizza, you might process this whole thing. If you work in a big uh, application, a lot of volume, guess what is important? You take a frozen product, keep it frozen, store it in a new format, you can supply limitless amounts of pesto. Here's what I mean. This gives me one liter of pesto approximately. It stays frozen. I take it out of the beaker, I put it in a cryovac machine, I freeze it, and now I bring out processed pesto as I need it. Six month shelf life, perfectly beautifully green every time. And momentarily you'll see the greenest, freshest, creamiest, smoothest pesto you'll ever use. An interesting thing about the frozen process, consumers can be afraid of frozen. They might think that you lose freshness. Well, something that's properly frozen, i.e. something frozen in a blast chiller, a shock freezer, frozen immediately, that's how freshness is kept in. That's what we did to our beaker. And consequently, all the freshness is inside. Now check it out. Below, unprocessed, unpocotized pesto. On top, look at that, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like green ice cream, it looks like pistachios ice cream or something. You see the texture, but you think it's like ice cream. You eat it, perfect, smooth, aromatic basil. Chemically speaking, not to get out of control with chemistry, but listen, the, the frozen chain, the nutrient chain has never been broken. The volatile oils are not defrosted, they're simply pocketized. So all the freshness, all the flavor stays intact. If I were to scoop this out, cryovac it and store it, guess what? I have my mise en place lined up like little soldiers and I'm set to go. Listen, what you don't have is that choppy, chunky look that you might expect to see from a pesto. And that's okay because I would use this product almost as a sauce base for pasta, maybe a spread for uh, some other kind of an Italian dish. Or quite frankly, the, with the consistency and texture that it is, you can, you can actually canel this product almost. I've often used pesto that's been pacotized as a savory sorbet almost, for example, on top of a gazpacho soup. It's just simply brilliant tasting, so fresh. Now listen, to get this product in a container for service or to store for later, PacoJet provides you with a handy little paddle. And this is an important point. Most scoops are not flat on the bottom. Why is that important? It's simple because I want to keep the surface of the unprocessed product completely flat. Here's why. If I flatten what I've spun or what I've not spun, I freeze it back, I come back tomorrow, we do it all again, yeah? This, this is for service. This is my mise en place, I put it on the line, I get to work. My unprocessed product, I put the lid back on, I put it back in the freezer or back in its original blast chiller and I've got more for later.